Welcome to the new setup. I'm here in my walk-in wardrobe next to my records. It's just easier for me, you know? If I'm gonna do a record update, might as well be with my records. And also, welcome to my new haircut. So to continue the tradition of the new haircut, the new setup, what about some new records? Let's get into it. So I was able to get like a couple every single drop, which led to a good amount in my opinion, even though I see some people getting like 30 records a drop, but I'm like, what are you doing? So the first drop in August, I got three records. Firstly, the most expensive record that I got, it is Gorilla's D-Sides. This is my first record that has three LPs in it. I'm really excited. Up until I got this record, I literally had no triple LP in my collection at all. Secondly, why I love this so much is that it is a 2007 compilation album that came out and it was meant to be a compilation of all the B-Sides and the remixes from their second studio release, which is Demon Days. Demon Days is my favorite album by Gorillaz. Even though I don't even own Demon Days on record, I just realized, so what am I doing? It's got quite a few openings and artwork going on in the inside and a crazy amount of songs and credits and all this stuff that's hard to keep up with, but I'll try my best, you know? Tied to be the most expensive record that I've ever bought as well at 95 AUD. It's crazy over here, the amount that these records are going for. This was limited to 2,000 copies, so pretty Pretty nice to own this, very happy with it. Secondly, I got a more cheap record and that's the reason I got it because I saw it and it wasn't actually that expensive and I was like, mm, okay. And that is Sugar Hill Gang, Sugar Hill Gang. This is the one 180 gram and that LP is going to be added to my colored vinyl collection as it's a beautiful yellow. Oh my God, is this the thumbnail right now? Is this the fun? Oh my God, wait, it's the thumbnail. So I'm sorry, I'm, I'm that person, but I'm obsessed with this because it's yellow. I don't have bright colored, completely block yellow vinyl. Like this, this is the first one I own of that. So I'm very happy just because it is yellow and yellow is one of my favorite colors and it suits my vibe quite a lot. So I'm very happy, I'm very happy with that. This is limited to 2,000 copies as well. And I believe my copy is marked right here as number 1,325. So that's pretty cool. I love it when they mark them. I wish that they marked them more often. It opens up to this nice shot of the gang. And the main reason that I really wanted to have this is because I personally am obsessed with a few of some Sugar Hill Gang classics, some Sugar Hill Gang hits, and one of them is Rapper's Delight of Course, their infamous 1979 hit. I know every single word to the radio mix. I don't think I know every single word to the 14 minute version, but I'm gonna get there at some point. That's one of my goals in life is to know every single line to Rapper's Delight. That'd be amazing. This is for the 40th anniversary, if I'm not mistaken. I'm very happy because it has both the 14 minute Rapper's Delight version as well as the single version, which I could go between both. Sometimes I'm in the single version mood, sometimes in the 14 minute version mood. So this is, this is perfect right now. This is what I need. So yeah, very happy with picking this up. Whoop. The third record that I got for drop number one was this little seven inch, which is Bulls on Parade by Denzel Curry. This is a cover of the original Rage Against the Machine hit classic. I love Balls on Parade by Rage Against the Machine. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. And I think that the cover that Denzel Curry did was one of the best covers that I've ever seen. He just brings so much to the song, like so, like the energy that is required. Plus he adds in his own verse, which is related to like the current affairs of the world. So that's pretty cool. And he did this cover on Like A Version, which is a series of covers and live performances that an Australian radio station called Triple J does. And then also on the other side, it also has a Bad Brains cover as well of Eye Against Eye, which is a Spotify session. I don't know much about this other side, so... These are tracks that have been unreleased up until this point, so I really wanted to own this because I love I love this I love this cover especially, and it's so cool to own some music that's never been pressed before. The second release, the second release was a tough one for me. It was it was some very dark times where I just completely forgot about it. I'm not gonna lie. So in Australia, retail stores were not open during September at all, so everything was online. The drop was online at midnight and. 
I went to bed that night sleeping like a baby, woke up the next morning to find out that I had missed the drop. So I quickly jumped online and everything was like gone pretty much. The thing I wanted the most from the second release was the Mingus Redux. Couldn't get the Mingus, couldn't find it. So I ended up just going and buying pressing of the original Mingus record. Cause I was like, I don't even own the original sesh so why don't i just buy that instead like it's not that important that i need to own these special versions of these albums i love the album just as it is so why don't i just pick up the original album so that's what i did so this isn't an rsd release but i'm just saying i wanted the mingus redux but yeah ended up missing out on it and just picked up the original album instead the second thing that i picked up from the second drop which it was like the only thing that was still available because there's 16,000 copies of it and that would be Alternate Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. I own Rumors. I own an original pressing of Rumors if I'm not mistaken. Let me find my original Fleetwood. I have my original Fleetwood from my auntie. She loved Fleetwood Mac growing up so I already owned those and I thought that it made sense to pick up the alternate rumors as well. That mirror is super cool there. I just wanted to pick this up just to keep adding to this little collection of Fleetwood Mac that I've got going on. This sort of speaks for itself. A lot of people love Fleetwood Mac and the amount of copies of 16,000 also speaks for itself. The other thing I really like about this is I know eventually I will pass on my auntie's Fleetwood Mac records to my child or whoever I feel like passing my records on to. It's really nice to add my own Fleetwood records to what my auntie already picked up. It sort of shows how music defies generations and always applies no matter how much the world changes. Music will be timeless. So I like that as well about it. And The Chain. Cool. I love The Chain. The Chain is one of my favorite songs of all time. That takes us to drop number three. For drop number three, I only wanted, I only needed, I only required one record and that one record is in this box. It's not Miles Davis, okay? I'm sorry. I wanted something else. I wanted something more to do with my favorite music. Not that I don't love Miles Davis, but I just, I saw that this was on the list. I just knew in my bones that I needed this record. It just had to be in my collection. Oh my god. Wait a second. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna cry. Oh. 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 This is Pinata by Freddie Gibbs and Madlib, the 1974 version. This has a unique cover specifically for the RSD 2020 drop and is meant to be a black exploitation cover sort of theme going on here. Oh my god. God, I'm in love with this. It's so cool. It even has like the usual movie credit sort of style you have on the back here. I love the cover art. This is just absolutely amazing. Oh, this is the first time I'm seeing it. So just give me a second, everyone. Just bear with me. Oh my God. This might be one of my favorite inner labels that I've ever seen. That zebra. <laughs> that zebra man was it really? That blue and yellow is just to die for. You've got the Mad Lib Invasion records and tapes, am I? You've got the original soundtrack to Pinata. Oh my god. This is one of my favorite records I've ever owned. I knew as soon as I saw that this was on the list for Drop 3 that I needed it because Pinata is one of my favorite albums of all time. It was in my Top 30 Albums video. I'm just obsessed with this hip-hop album. It's one of my favorite hip-hop albums of all time and it got me into hip-hop. I'm just so happy with this version because I don't have this album album on record and now I'm pretty happy that I just have this. Freddie himself describes Pinata as a gangster black exploitation film on wax. So Freddie and Madlib also brought out Bandana, another collaboration album that they brought out earlier this year, which I think is also really good. I just wanted to own Pinata first because I've always loved Pinata since 2014 when it first came out. Now that I've got this, it's time to go get Bandana Man. Oh my god. I don't know if you can tell I'm just so happy with this. It's just making me emotional how amazing this is. 
I am done. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. So yes, these are all the records that I got for Record Store Day 2020, the first Record Store Day I've ever participated in fully. But until next time, I will probably be doing a vinyl update, just like a basic vinyl update soon with all the other basic records I've been getting that aren't Record Store Day related. So look forward to that and until next time, remember to like, comment and subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye!